Hi and welcome to another iPhoneNerd.com tutorial. Today I'm going to be covering one of the most common questions um, that developers ask me. Uh, this tutorial is geared more towards developers. Um, uh, one of the biggest questions that I get, and we're going to try to make this a quick tutorial because it is very rather easy. Um, I am assuming that you do know how to create a Cydia repo. If you don't know how to create a Cydia repo, you can right here on YouTube. You can just uh, do a search. Uh, People like Simple SDK uh, do tutorials like that. Um, this is geared more towards the person that already knows how to, already has a, a city repo and already knows uh, how to create one. Um, I will answer any questions that subscribers have. I do ask that you please subscribe. Um, and here we go. Uh, the biggest question I get is this: an icon on your city repo. If you can check, if you see here. Um, you can see that iPhoneNerd.com, this is my tester repo, has its own icon. <clears throat> uh, it's kind of difficult on the internet how to find a tutorial that will explain to you how you can actually um, do this uh, on your own repo. And it is very rather easy, so let's begin. Um, first thing that you need to do is, obviously, you have to have two folders in your uh, oh, sorry about that you have to have two folders in your computer right if you already have a repo those two folders are the one the repo folder and two the build folder okay my repo is already made so it already has all these all these things so let's ignore my repo folder first what you need to do is create inside your build folder a icon folder that folder should be called in my case it's called nerd icon it should be called whatever your repo name icon or whatever you want to name it it's just like building an application now you have your two traditional folders you have the applications folder and you have the debian folder two folders that you need um, when you're creating a package a dot dev file to use in Cydia. so basically you need to make two folders once you have these two folders you go into applications and in here you make a new uh, folder. What you do is, uh, I'll do I'll do another one here, just to show you. Um, let me move this one here. Okay, I'll do another one here just to show you. What you need to do is, you go new folder, right, and then you name that folder Cydia. It has to be Cydia with a capital C. So Cydia. Dot app, and it should automatically make it a dot app. Now, let me just move this to the trash and get our old one there. I just wanted to show you how you needed to uh, to set that up. Once you've done that, it's going to give you a file like this with a big, uh, kind of like a can't open sign on it. What you want to do is you want to right click and, uh, well, select it, then right click and hit show package content. Now in here I have, sort, I have two folders, sources and sections. This is not going to do anything to your city app, by the way. This is just going to add it into your city, just going to add your icon into your city app. And um, that's basically what it's going to do. So here we have sections and sources. You make these two folders. First off, you need to make those two folders inside this. And yours will be blank. You need to make two individual folders. Now, inside sources, you place your, your, uh, your icon. You should name your icon like your website name or your repo name. So let's say your repo name was Cydia.iPhoneNerd.com, uh, then that's what you would name it. You know, in my case, it's not. So you would name it whatever the repo name is. Same thing as far as for your section. You can name that section.iPhoneNerd.com or Cydia.iPhoneNerd.com. doesn't really matter. Um, once you put the two icons in there, you need to remember that you need to go into your Debian folder and make a control uh, file. This you learned when you were making a repo. I'm going to open mine so you can take a look at it. Uh, there it is. So it's basically package the package, the name, the version, the architecture, the description, the home page, maintainer, author, and section. Now you need to do this because this is how Cydia is going to read it. When we do a depend file, when we make it depend, when we make your app depend on it, we're gonna need this control file. Now, after you've put a control file inside the Deviant folder, 
you should go back to your apps. The current application, and this is a very neat application that I have out now. It's not out, but it's a beta application. Uh, it's Nerd Load. Um, so inside my Nerd Load, I obviously have my app that I build, um, and I have my Debian folder. Now, in my Debian folder, in your control folder for your application, I know you're going to have to build all this stuff all over if, if you know what you're doing. Um, but in your control folder, within that app, whichever app you're doing, if you have seven apps, you have to change it in every seven, uh, in every seven control folders for each individual app. You need to have the package name, the name, the version, the architecture. But most important of all, I know you know all the other stuff. Most important of all is depends. You need to. I'm gonna let you look at it there. I'm gonna give you a minute to look at it. Depends, and it has to say the uh, the name of the package that the icon is. In my case, it's com.iphonenerd.nerdicon, and you put that in there, and you save the control folder. You gotta make sure that this control folder is is uh is saved. Okay. And you also want to make sure you, you make an icon, uh, an icon uh, section for it as well, an icon. And this is this is how you would put the uh, the actual uh, icon. How you would type it in: file colon forward slash forward slash forward slash application slash city of that app slash iphone dot com dot png. Now, in your case, you would you would put in the file name of your icon that you have that we previously uh, did. Um, and you need to do this for all your applications. Uh, and if you have different uh, icons for different applications, then obviously you need to put different uh, applications, different uh, different paths for that application's icon. In my case, I just want to use the same icon. If you wanted to use uh, an icon that uh, different from this one, I wouldn't put it. I wouldn't install it through the repo install icon. I would. Uh, I would do put it in here, and then basically uh, put it in the applications folder, and then basically uh, just point it to to find it here. Basically, you show contents, and you would put the icon here, and you would tell it to come and find it here, where it is, um, and and that will basically make your icon work perfectly. Then after we do all this stuff, we obviously need to go into terminal, and I'm gonna try to hurry it up because we only have nine minutes. Uh, <coughs> you go into terminal, and you basically build each package. And I'm pretty sure that you should know that by now. And once you build it, you upload it. And what will happen is when anyone installs an application that is from your repo, uh, basically the icon will download with it, and you'll get that icon. On your actual on the actual device or phone remember if you have any questions comments or concerns you can give me a call well not give me a call you can shoot me an email or you can shoot me a message on youtube.com uh, nerd support is my uh, screen name and I'm willing to help everyone if you have any questions just let me know and I'll help you guys if you don't know how to uh, how to do your own re city of repo and you want to like start doing it um, you can keep this as a reference or you can give me you can also send me a message and I will find out uh, I will point you in the right direction um, thank you guys for listening and tuning in today if you have any questions please feel free <laughs>